Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to go ahead and hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are over here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? Do not be afraid, girl, to like this video, like this video, like this video, okay? Like, share, subscribe. Also, if you would like a personal reading from me, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. All readings are $44.44 and do have a two-day turnaround time. Um, also, if you would like to give a little donation to this channel, girl, go ahead on, okay? dftarot, uh, cash app dftarot or PayPal dftarot, girl. Okay, just a little dollar, girl. Just a little dollar, you know, whatever you want to do, okay? Y'all know. We be over here getting it in. Um, so, okay, let's go ahead and move on getting into it. Um, yeah, I really don't know what I'm picking up. I'm just hearing, <clears throat> I'm hearing prophecy. I'm hearing, um, dreams, dreams, dreams. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on. So we just gonna go ahead and pull, but I'm hearing prophecy. I'm hearing dreams. Okay. I'm hearing ethers. I'm hearing fog. Okay. There is something in the spirit realm. That is for sure. Okay. That is for sure. Okay, hiding out, retired, okay, predictive programming, hmm, honest politician, okay, weather manipulation, um, somebody is afraid, okay, somebody is scared. And they think they know what's going on and they don't. Um, they think somebody is manipulating their environment. They think somebody is manipulating. Somebody's afraid. Somebody thinks they're flying monkeys in the mist that are responsible for um, something that's going on in their life. Somebody thinks there's some flying monkeys that are talking. You know, somebody is talking. I'm hearing that flying monkeys. You got them talking. You got them telling shit about me. You starting rumors about me. And now I'm falling back. Somebody is hiding out. Somebody is like, I'm just going to be home. I'm not even going to be on social media like that. Okay. You might be in a blackout period on social media. You're like, I don't want to be seen. I know what you're doing. I know you're lying on me. Okay. Somebody really thinks that somebody around them is manipulating their environment and telling people how to see them but i'm telling you this person actually is not doing that okay this person is not doing that okay it's not them um you got it wrong okay we see big pharma we see evil corporation um there is somebody around this situation that you are not looking at okay we see watching somebody is what no there is a spirit that is watching. There is a spirit that is watching. Monitoring spirits. It's no flying monkeys. It's no flying monkeys. Somebody is watching you. This is not the classic case of the narc puts his friends on you. and This is not that. Mm -mm. This is not that. Okay. Someone else is poisoning the environment. Yeah, this is someone else. <clears throat> and I'm getting the vibe. This message is from the most high. Somebody is saying you're you're blaming someone in your life for being a negative influence on your reputation or on your money. It's not it's not it's not them. This person is an honest that person is an honest person. It is not them. There are some monitoring spirits. Spirit, blah, blah, blah monitoring spirits that are present that have nothing to do with the person that you believe is the problem okay okay embezzlement you may feel like this person is messing with your money okay cyber crime you may feel like this person is telling people you know ah go look at her page you'll see what she on okay you feel like they are interfering with how you are perceived okay you're thinking of them as a rival okay you need to look closer you need to look closer um because you're wrong okay in a nutshell okay you are wrong um, the person that you think is problematic for you, they are not problematic for you at all, okay? 
They are not the problem. Hmm. Memories. You need to think back on someone that you knew before that you left behind. Okay. This is the person, person that is wishing you ill. That is your monitoring spirit. It is someone that you left behind. It is someone that you feel you moved on from. Okay. Someone that you are like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm off that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. You off them, but they ain't off you, honey. Okay. Somebody is really jealous. And they're just sitting in the background being that, okay? Rumors. What did I say? That's who's starting the fucking rumors, okay? Somebody you ain't talked to and you feel like y'all fell out and you left it alone. They're still watching you. They're watching you on social media, okay? They're still like, oh, I see what's going on. And they're talking to people about you. It is a monitoring spirit. Somebody that has nothing to do with this person that you just assuming, girl. You just didn't put it on them. It's not them. It's not them. Okay. And this person is protected spiritually. For some reason, you're not able to see them. I don't mean with your physical eye. They're hidden spiritually. You're not detecting them. They're able to get by your radar. Um, let me tell you why. <clears throat> tell you what I'm hearing. You don't suspect this person of basically um, just kind of sending messy gossipy negative energy your way and putting little seeds out about you in your social clan or your family you don't suspect them because they are somebody that's quiet um this person is quiet this person has a soft voice they have a very passive presentation this person that you're blaming is more of a like outspoken talky okay this person may be a masculine energy the person, the person that you want to blame is a masculine. He don't have nothing to do with this. He actually an honest guy. He just talk a lot of shit. The real issue is this person in the background that I'm getting a feminine energy. Okay. And she's being very sly and she's being very sneaky. And I'm going to tell you, she's even being sly and sneaky about how she's delivering the lies that she's telling on you. That's why people are listening to her. Okay, because she's, you know what she's, she's getting, oh, <clears throat> yeah, this is a monitoring spirit. She's watching you. And then she's going to people saying things like, I'm really concerned about Carla. I just feel like she needs us to kind of, you know, I mean, she don't talk to me no more, but maybe you could talk to her. Like I'm where some of y'all, she's telling people she's framing you like you have a sex addiction. Some of y'all, she's trying to act like, oh, that person overeats or, you know, have you noticed how she's dressing lately? She's pouring salt. This is a very small and miserable energy, okay? She has misery based on something in her childhood, maybe. No, it's not childhood. Career, she's, her career has failed, and she's not getting the help she needs. She needs to talk to somebody, but she's not doing that, okay? <clears throat> okay? She has a real fear of being exposed, and she's being spiritually covered by that mask of She's got a very deceptive spirit, okay? She has a very, she keeps herself very veiled um, and she's able to kind of hide. This is who's hiding out, y'all. This is who we pulled. The enemy, the enemy is hiding out. The enemy is pretending to be retired. This girl is pretending that she doesn't care what happens to you anymore. If you were to see her, she probably wouldn't even speak, you know, or she's gonna be like, okay, oh, hey girl, let's get to see her. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to keep walking. But if somebody else asks her about you, she's going to start talking shit. But she's going to talk shit in her way. You know, I, I just, even though me and her don't talk no more, you know, I still love her. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's still my girl, girl. You know, I still love her. And, you know, I just, I just, I'm telling you. So maybe you could say something to her about it because you know, she won't talk to me. It's like, I don't know if it's her mental health. God forbid. You know, I don't know if it's her mental health, but I just, I don't know. I just was getting uncomfortable with her. That's why I fell back. She didn't fall back. You fell back. You, and you, not only did you fall back, you forgot she existed because she don't even have an impressive personality. Okay. She may be somebody that you brought into the damn social circle to begin with. Okay. 
okay? And she's afraid of getting exposed for the fact that she's really just a hater. It's not, it's really not that complicated to figure out. So she's, she's afraid of getting exposed. So she's staging this, y'all. I told you. She playing in like, I just want her to know I care. Hey, but through you, you tell her, okay? Because she, you know, she don't, she never did listen to me. And I just had to fall back because it was like, I couldn't watch her self-destruct, okay? Girl, listen, she, this woman been jealous of you and, and envious for so long that, you know, we don't have time to list all the reasons, okay? It's, it's that, it's giving that, okay? Um, this woman is giving this energy in the spirit realm, okay? In a very serious way, we come through here seeing paranormal. This woman may be delusional. She may actually be somebody that thinks she's seeing things there that are not there. Um, she's not divine. She may think she has a key to mediumship and she's talking to other spirits. She does not. You know what it was? This was some spiritual energy. She was perpetrating as a spiritual energy. Tried to get in your circle and you guys realized she was a fraud or maybe you realized she was a fraud. She may have been giving fraudulent information to people, pretending that she had some type of spiritual, um, you know, spiritual, look at lost on the bottom of the deck, baby, she's lost. Um, pretending that she had some type of spiritual gift. So I got the gift of the prophetic. Oh, I got, I'm a medium. I got, baby, she don't have nothing. Okay. She ain't got nothing. And I do mean nothing, okay? She don't have nothing, okay? She don't have nothing. Just have to bring it on home for some of y'all. Nothing. Nothing, Aki. <laughs> you understand me? She has nothing, okay? And and she was kind of created a false persona um, to get into your social circle, which may be a very spiritual social circle. Um, and she... Didn't think it was problematic that she was pretending to be kind of like some sort of a, maybe even a um, high priestess energy when she actually knew nothing about spirituality, okay? She's corrupt, okay? So this is a corrupt energy. It may be you that exposed her. It may have been you that exposed her. You that realized she was staging a whole personality just to hang out with y'all. And now she's in the background where she belongs, okay, on her bullshit, yeah, so she's trying to talk shit about your sex life, I just told you that, okay, she's trying to talk shit about your sex life, okay, and that's taking her down a whole rabbit hole, because I'm going to tell you, everybody knows your energy and your divine feminine energy, everybody knows, like, you are a woman of virtue, you are a woman that is like, I'm not out here doing that, okay, you just don't, like, no shade to anyone that does, like, I don't think you're a judgmental girl, but you're not living a certain type of lifestyle. Um, you just are not. It's not your character. It's not your flavor. It's not your carriage. You are in full on divine feminine energy. So folks are knowing you and familiar with your divine feminine energy. And they're giving her wild ass energy. Some of them when she's telling these lies on you, they're like, Connie? Like they're giving her them type of faces. Like, Rosalinda? Nah. Josephine? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Wanda? No, I, I, I mean, I, I hear, I know, I know, it's girls out there living like that, but baby, Talita? Nah, 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 nah. Nita don't live like that, bro. Nah, I, 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 yeah, like, yeah, let me get away from you. Like, yeah, you, you, you know something? You, yeah, I'm gonna see you later. Like, she's saying things about you that are so adverse. Because remember, this girl's a little delusional. So she's saying things about you that are so adverse to your character. Like, she's literally getting conversations ended on her ass. Like, she come out of her face with that bullshit. And people like, Barbara? Uh-uh. Yeah, girl, let me, let me let you go. Let me let you go. Because, see, you sound like you, you crazy, girl. June? Girl, June ain't did no shit like that. Like, they just getting out her way. Like, she's embarrassing herself because people are like, like, no, I know Ashea very well. Like, she doesn't move like that. Like, people ain't even trying to hear it. They know it's a hoax. Death hoax energy. They know it's a hoax. They know this is her just trying to kill your spirit, kill your reputation. And I want you to understand, spiritually, 
That's what this is about. You do walk in divine feminine energy. You do walk in the energy of the virtuous woman. You do walk in the energy of the divine. You do walk in the energy of diamonds and pearls. And this is a jealous demonic entity. But even more than that, remember, we start off, this is a spiritual thing. Okay. And this monitoring spirit is one that is just attempting to uh, kind of bring down or take the, the God energy, the, the adoration and the love and the virtue off of one of God's daughters. Okay, or for one of the most highest daughters, she's not gonna maybe do it. You see, people are literally, literally shunning her, but she's still answering um, Satan's assignment, and, and that's we we're not gonna do that. Okay, that's it. We can't have that. So you definitely want to be in prayer. Okay, you definitely want to be in prayer um, because you know, and don't get offline. Don't let this person upset you. Like somebody, you've let this upset you because you've heard a couple of fucking fools that believe this. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that because it's not true. Okay. It's not true. It's just not. And, and it's not, you know, don't, don't let this person, because this is a monitoring spirit that is trying to, in a sense, and I don't think it's just you. I believe this is a collective issue. Um, these monitoring spirits, they want to make the divine feminists feel ashamed. They want to make them run under the carpet because they're seeing the, the love of God, especially in these times. They're seeing the love of God shining so brightly on certain feminine energies that you start to get these um, little spiritual, uh, you know, demonic, uh, you know, uh, messengers, for lack of a better word, that think it's acceptable to bring the filth flying florin to your door and it's not okay it's not you know who you are and stand in that that is the message from the divine to you baby shine bright like a diamond okay solar flare shine bright like a diamond okay you are to continue to shine okay we see the sun jumped out at us Continue to shine because what she's trying to do when we see this humanoid energy is take you into antichrist energy so that you start to behave as though you are counterfeit. She's trying to project her demonic shame off on you. So you feel like you can't speak up. You feel like you can't hide. You feel like you can't show up to the barbecue. Why would you feel like that? She's the one with the fucking problem. She's sick. She's answering a demonic call. Why would the DF ever hide, bro? You have no reason to hide, okay? No reason to hide. She's trying to switch her identity off with yours. The respect that you got in your spiritual circle, the respect that you continue to get in your spiritual circle, this masculine that's an honest man that would not dare throw stones your way, these are all the spaces in your life where she's jealous of you and she's wanting to be you and she's trying to switch places with you. She wants to walk in the Christ consciousness and then you to be perceived as being the antichrist consciousness. You to be perceived as the one that is not divine because remember, she wanted a space in your social circle, whatever that may be. And I'm going to tell y'all for some of y'all this is digital for some of y'all this is happening online it is happening from some type of a spiritual social media group okay where you were involved with some other people in a spiritual digital space and this person has really got fixated on you and they're jealous and you're thinking maybe i should just get offline and just stay out of that space no you don't have to do that you don't have to do that because who she is is who she is and everybody knows it is not a secret okay this woman is out here trying to assault you spiritually energetically speaking bring those strongholds down okay come against those strongholds you better know it you better believe it um this is the prophecy baby what did i tell you antichrist energy Okay, that is what she's all about. Okay, this is the spirit of the Antichrist coming against the spirit of God. It never changes. Okay, you know, some things never change. It's just that's just the way it is. And things look like they're small and look like they're social, but they are still just comes down to to demons and saints and, and God and the devil. Okay, so it is more than it is more than time for you to take your separate take time to go your separate way from this particular woman. Get back into your spirit of joy with dancing and singing. Okay, and know that the people around you are amazing acrobats, baby. They do their flips. They do what they do, and they see what they see, and they see it well. This is just like some Mercury retrograde type shit. Like you're in the Bizarro universe for a moment. Okay, where shit seems like it's 
you know, everything's in reverse. But everybody around you is going to see this woman for who she is very soon because she's going to have an incident where she steals some money. Remember, this woman has some type of problem with money and has even tried to cause issues for your money. For those of you that are in a digital space, she's trying to cause issues for you with your money by spreading rumors that will make people not want to spend their money with you. Don't pay any attention to it. It's going to come and it's going to go. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalm one, binds up their wounds. Psalm 147 and 3. This is the prayer. This is the psalm that you want to throw her way. You know, pray that God binds up her wounds, okay? And, and binds her, by the way, if y'all want to throw a little, little, little craft to that, okay? Use this also to bind her, okay? Don't forget your black candle, okay? Bind her ass, okay? The Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart, Psalm 28 and 7. That is what you need. That is all you need, okay? This is a passing fancy. This woman is sick. She is disturbed. Um, she was unfortunately led into the social circle or the digital um, spiritual space. And um, just as quickly as she got in, she will be funneled out. Right now, you are really just seeing her being funneled out almost like a disease. You know, she's gradually falling out of the, the frequency. So just fall back, stand back, and allow her to fall out of that frequency. And oh, baby, she will. She will. There's, there's no doubt about that. Okay? If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay, Please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Don't you ever be afraid to go ahead and hit that bell, okay? If you want to be here, every single time me and the T-Team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, dftarot at gmail.com. You can also send, if you want to send any little donation, girl, dollar, whatever you want to do, girl, DF uh, tarot T, okay? Cash out DF tarot T, PayPal DF tarot T, okay? And as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.